Yo, what's up guys? It's Xnose here, and this is episode 2 of my Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm going to show you essentially how to make a commentary. So, we've, in the previous video, imported the gameplay into Vegas, and I showed you how to render that out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split clips and how to record voiceovers. So, first thing is you want to make sure you have a mic of some kind. If you're using a laptop, then you have your crappy webcam mic by default. If you're using a Turtle Beach, plug it into the headphone or the microphone jack. Um, there's all sorts of different mics. If you do have a USB microphone, make sure that it is set to default as your default microphone because from what I'm to understand that's what Vegas goes by no matter what. So what you do to do that is go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, manage audio devices, recording, and you'll notice that I only have one. That's because I disabled everything else. But you have the mic that you want, click on it, properties, and use this device. Make sure all of this is set well and okay. You can also right click and do some other things, but you want to have this set to your default device. So what I did, I just disabled everything else because I didn't use anything else. So let's get rid of that and let's close this. So now that you have your mic set up, you're going to want to make sure your video is all ready for you to do the commentary. So if you want to say cut out a lingering part at the beginning of the video, what you do is make sure that you have the video selected so that it's blue and you have the area you want and click or just tap S and you'll notice that it did that so now you can move this and not this part then you just right click delete it's very simple drag that back so now instead of having a long lingering part we just have a little bit of that and we can also go back through and cut that out so if I want to say do it from right here split that click delete drag it over and we're good so we also want to get rid of the end part so just split and click on the actual correct part or when it's selected just hit the delete button now this is a demolition game so there's rounds in between and I figured this would be a good example to show you guys so say I want to not cut out but just speed up the part in between the rounds what I would do is find the spot I want to start cutting out or speeding up hit S to split it go to the end part of that section hit S so now I can move this out of the way move this right here and if you notice right here you can trim the end location by doing that if you want to adjust speed make sure you hold control now if you notice on the little box under the arrows there's a squiggly line drag that in and it's now um, much faster so you'll notice that it plays a lot faster then you can drag that back there drag that right there and from here you'll if we play through it hits that point and then it speeds up now when you do speed up video you want to make sure and lock the audio to stretch otherwise it'll sound weird so on this to zoom in you just do this and it makes everything larger and then you have to right, have to right click on the audio portion specifically hit properties lock to stretch and okay and then you're good it will not mess up the audio so let's bring this back to normal size so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is obviously record the commentary so what you do is hit the little record button or press control R then select where you want the audio file to be recorded to and start talking and so you'll notice that from wherever the um, video was at at that point is where it's going to start the voiceover so right now it's recording me talking about it recording me so yeah it's 
very simple to use and then if you're done recording or you want to redo it completely hit that and you can choose to be done and it'll stay there you can choose to delete an individual track or you can just delete all hit yes so if you're gonna do a commentary you want to start at the beginning because you do need to have voice over on the majority of the video so start at the beginning and don't cut it out right here it's copyright stuff you have to have voiceover over the majority of the video so start as early as possible now obviously if you have an intro you're gonna have that first and if you want to bring that in you would just import it as a second video and place it in front of this but from right here you just hit record again start talking talk 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 after that's done save it you can adjust audio volume you can adjust to make it play out of the left ear, the right ear. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. And then you just put that back. You can boost the volume. So zero is the default. And if you play back and listen to it and it's quiet, you can boost it up to 12. So noticeable sound increase. Also make sure, and I did this last video, but make sure you bring down the game volume at least, I suggest at least 30 if there's music in the background and there's any portion of the video where you're not talking very much like if it's video game music bring the volume down all the way the reason for that is if YouTube's algorithms that check for copyrighted music hear the music and don't feel like and the program doesn't think it's very different from the actual song it will copyright strike you it can, or it can it won't necessarily but yeah so, say you've talked over this and the entire thing is ready for you to render. Then you just go back, do the same render settings as before, and that'll obviously change if you're doing 720p versus 1080, stuff like that. Um, oh, one more thing. Before you render, make sure on all of your um, footage. So, when you first drag this in here is when I recommend doing it, because once you... Like, once I've done all of this, you have to go back and redo everything, but let's get, let's get this out of the way. So what you want to do is right click on each video in the thing, hit properties, disable resample, and reduce interlace flicker. Make sure you do that. If you don't do the disable resampling, it will be a very, very blurry video. So yeah, very important. It looks so much better when you disable resample. So, once you get all that set up though, you have everything ready. Render it out and upload it, and you're all good to go. Now, if there's anything else you guys would like me to give you tutorials on in the future, any specific Vega stuff, I have some stuff planned, but anything specific you want to know, let me know. And if I don't already know it, I'll try to figure it out for you guys and help you out. But I do know a decent amount. I can do, you know, basic transitions. I can do screenshots and stuff. I can teach you guys how to do a lot of basic stuff. I will also be going over color correction and sharpen and stuff soon. But this was just sort of like the basic. You recorded your gameplay and you want to make a commentary. What do you do? So this is what you do. Render it out, upload it, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.